uh, Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar in a highly hard hit match. Uh, what do you guys think about this one? As as Cody Rhodes got the win over Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, the guy that's not in the GOAT bracket. Um, what do you guys think about that? <laughs> Dan is just doing this on purpose tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But, in, but in this case, but in this case, he's 100% right. <laughs> for fucking reason. But anyway, moving on to this match. This was the match. Of, to me, this Haters. was the match tonight. Haters. This, this, this was the match of the night. This this match right here with, with, with Cody and, and Brock. Oh, but not considered a GOAT at all. <laughs> I mean, this 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 match was more about the booking. He's, he's still young into his career. <laughs> Who is still young? <laughs> Who's still young? <laughs> what? Cody Rhodes. Oh, Cody Rhodes. You were talking about Brock. I'm like, what? <laughs> but, oh, no. I mean, well, he's already out of the consideration of the bracket. He can't be in there, so. <laughs> oh, so you're going to consider Cody, the man with no titles. Cody's on his way. He's working his oh, way up into that upper echelon. I swear, <laughs> if we ever get to a point where we do another gold bracket and Cody uh, instantly <laughs> jumps Brock, I'm 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 like I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the man doesn't even have a title. <laughs> we will get into that, but, anyway. <laughs> but um, when you look at this match, like psych- psychologically. You know, it kind of started off like a typical Brock Lesnar match with Brock being so dominant. I mean, it, it was almost reminiscent of um, uh, SummerSlam against John Cena and, you know, WrestleMania against, against Roman in New Orleans where, where Brock just manhandled him. And, you know, psychologically, you know, Cody being that baby face of, of not getting, not giving up. You definitely saw, like, I, I, I was afraid that as the match was going, that match was going on, that that Brock was actually going to end up being being the winner. I, I now I know now I know based on what the plan is with, with Cody and such. The hindsight being twenty twenty, that probably wasn't the be- best way to think about it. But that's how that's how dominant he looked in the match. But then you know Cody with the Cody with the fighting comeback, and then you know the three crossroads for the win, and then for Brock to uncharacteristically shake his hand after and and, and endorse him. I mean. To me, mm-hmm. it's almost the equivalent of when when Brock Lesnar ended the Undertaker streak. When it's kind of like, okay, it like the next thing for him to do now is is to win the championship because he just ended the most legendary streak ever. The next step is to win the title. That should be his next match. You almost got the same feeling with this from Cody Rhodes because mm-hmm. you beat Brock Lesnar clean, pinned him, and then you have Brock Lesnar of all people raising your raising your hand and giving you an endorsement. It's like where do you where do you go where do you go from there? Where do you go from there? The only logical next step would be would be the title, and I know they kind of teased it on Monday Night Raw, but that you would think moving forward that that would be the next step. But as I said, uh, this this was definitely the uh, match of the night. Um, probably not going to see Brock Lesnar for a little while, but uh, continuing the uh, the story of Cody Rhodes until we get to WrestleMania. So nice. You can go, Dan. Um, I thought this match was pretty good, especially the physicality, of course, that Brock Lesnar is going to bring all the time. Um, Cody Rhodes, gutsy performance, uh, the use of the stairs going back and forth and stuff like that. That was awesome. Um, just the physicality of it. And just again, just a good, solid match from both of these guys. Um, getting Cody Rhodes over like that again, Brock Lesnar is able to do that. Be him beating a monster like that. Brock Lesnar is going to go off for a little bit. Um, kind of what Brian says, the natural order of things is that Cody Rhodes is now going to be in that main event um, consistently now, right? Like he, the, he just – he's on that linear path. He had that little match with Dominic Mysterio. Now he has this feud with Brock Lesnar. That's over now. And now he's going to be on to bigger and better things. And it's just like um, that's the natural order, right? Like they're just going to keep putting these uh, monsters in front of Cody Rhodes until he overcomes that. He's going to be, be fighting somebody on the roster to overcome – and getting over as he did over Brock Lesnar, as he did, was a, was a positive outcome, I think, on his story, on what he's going to be doing going forward. Um, it's going to rub the rest of the roster the right way, especially now that he beat Brock Lesnar clean like that and actually legitimately getting a one, two, three. Um, and now whoever he faces next, whether it's Seth Rollins or Drew McIntyre or Gunther, whoever's in that realm of who he's going to be fighting is going to get a rub because now they're fighting a guy who has some prestige on him, right? Like a, a different level of prestige 
other than just being handpicked. He actually has a legitimate win, and it's not just over send. It's not just over Seth Rollins and stuff like that. It's actually a legitimate win over Brock Lesnar. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with him next, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you can go ahead, um, Luke. I'm good. You guys kind of said it all. Um, this was definitely match of the night for me. Um, I did see one thing that was pretty funny. And, I mean, I guess, you know, you can interpret it however you want, is that people were complaining they're like, how is it Cody didn't get disqualified after using the chair, the the, the steps on Brock? They're like this man taking him out and is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. of the stairs, <laughs> not considered a weapon. <laughs> um, it was the it was declared a no DQ while nobody was paying attention. <laughs> so, like, hey, by the way, it's no DQ. Um, but I think <laughs> what Brian put it best, where it's like this That's was a man like, booking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, amazing. Yeah, for me, this match was, like, equivalent to, like, breaking the streak because when can you say the last person that beat Brock clean or without a stipulation, without any help from people? Um, like, you would think, really, Cody's, like, going to beat Brock, and they did it in a manner that, you know, he came out looking great. Shit, fucking Brock fucking tore his shirt, his shorts almost flashing the whole world towards the end. Well, yeah. I was like, how the hell did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> um, when, does that ever, when does that ever happen? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, and crazy. I'm not going to lie, just because of Brock's history, reputation, and his character, I thought once he shook his hand, I'm like, here comes another F5. Like I was, I was anticipating it. I yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna <laughs> shake his hand, look to the crowd, and then, <laughs> yep, but it didn't. So that's why it was, it was such a like, wow, like you, like this man has been elevated. You wanna know what happened? Such a status. What? <laughs> you wanna know what happened? I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Your negative energy towards Cody Rhodes has <laughs> proclaimed, has made Brock Lesnar turn oh, babyface. And he's going to win the Royal Rumble now because of your negative energy. Because of your negative energy, Brock Lesnar now is going to win the Royal Rumble and challenge Roman Reigns at WrestleMania Good. 40. And we're going to Good. get Roman Reigns Brock. Good. <laughs> that is you know what? Now problem. I want this to happen because you keep blaming me because you keep testing my way. <laughs> I want Cody to win against Roman, just not by winning the Rumble. Can you? Can we? Can we take that? Right now, and post that on IG okay. because that has been my <laughs> yeah, episode 27, 10 01 p.m., August 9th. Yep, Lewis made the comment. Thank you, thank you, thank you Brian. Thank you. This is why we have video it's been footage. Documented, it's been messaged, it's been, oh, but it's been but he's saying my negativity <laughs> because I don't want things to go the way Dan wants it. I'm negative. Oh man, uh, I'm just saying, you turned you turn Brock Lesnar babyface. That's all I'm saying. Turn he turned himself. Face. He turned himself. How's anybody face. gonna hate? He turned himself, babyface. You can't blame yeah, that. Yeah, what, that was what awesome. it, what nobody. Happen? Nobody knew he was doing that. Yep. Yeah, nobody. And you gonna put that on me? That's, Shit. Then I guess that's I just a swerve, did bro. Swerve. <laughs> swerve, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens with uh, uh, Cody Rhodes going forward. Most yeah. likely going to be in the main event. I mean, they're already teasing him and months. Seth. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll get it. And I like we'll how they're doing that. We'll get into that. I like how, yeah, yeah, I like how they're doing that. I like how they doing. It looks like we're that. getting um, but, uh, paranoid um, yep, Seth instead of paranoid Robin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> it's too sad. Like, <laughs> but that's what so, they should be doing. But we'll, we'll we'll get into that. Um, we can move on to the Slim Jim Battle Royal that was won by L.A. Knight. Uh, you guys correctly 